In this week's video, I fly to Melbourne on Qantas. I enjoy an odd in-flight snack before heading to my favourite city in Australia. Oh yes, welcome, that's right. I'm back here at Adelaide Airport today. I'm going to be travelling with Qantas over to Melbourne in economy class. It's a short one hour flight on Qantas. Uh, I'm keen to find out what they're like. It's been a while since I've flown them on this domestic flight. So let's head in now. We're here at Terminal 1. Well, the only terminal in Adelaide, in fact. Check-in's just up there. So uh, let's head in and see where our journey takes us. Today's flight was the first of two flights I would take to Singapore. With my Qantas Club membership, today I was able to use the service desk check-in lane, which is the priority check-in lane, and the line was basically non-existent. Yep. Am I able to check in? Yeah, we've just got an international connection with Emirates. The next stop today would then be the Qantas Club. Hello. Yeah. I'm just going to guess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Qantas Club. As you can probably tell, this video was filmed in the weeks before Christmas, and the Qantas Club certainly had its fair share of celebrations up. I decided to find a seat down in the quiet end of the lounge. Okay, so I've made it to the Qantas Club. I'll tell you a bit more about this trip in a second and why I'm doing it how, and how I've gotten here. But um, first things, I'm the Qantas Club. I have access to this lounge because I'm a Qantas Club member. So I can just access any Qantas Club when flying Qantas or Jetstar. They had a decent range of food. They had some, they had like a sandwich bar. They also had some potatoes. And they also had a soup there as well as Rista, everything. Um, in terms of for me, I've just chosen to go with the pasta salad as well as a spud. And I got it with an apple juice. So, yeah, we boarded in about an hour, so it's not, not a bad little feed to keep us going before, before we get on board. Okay, so I finished all my food and I just got myself a chai latte just from the barista over there. There wasn't really much of a wait and the lady just made it for me, which is nice. So, no self-serve coffee machines or anything like that. So, let's talk about this trip that I'm doing today. So, this is the start of a four video series. I'm, I'm flying to Melbourne with Qantas today, then I'm flying with Emirates on to Singapore and then back down to Sydney with <coughs> Qantas in an A380 in economy class and then Sydney to Adelaide just on a 737. So this is the first episode of that series. Um, the other videos might already be out, I'm not sure how I plan to, to do it all because I have like a little schedule. But yeah, so come along with me for this first flight and uh, we'll see what it's like. But first, I'm going to enjoy this trial today. That's warm. It's good though. Okay, so that was a, that was a really good experience in the Qantas Club. Uh, my flight to Melbourne is boarding now. That's my flight number actually because I'm connecting with Emirates. Go to gate 21 in Melbourne. So, um, that's a bit cold, but yeah, so I'm going to go on board now, get on board the 737, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. This would be the 737 which would fly me over to Melbourne this evening, sadly not having a new brew livery. Thank you. 
Thanks, mate. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Yeah. first that is my view for the flight over to Melbourne today hang on I'll just grab this one actually um, in front of me that is the tray table <laughs> obviously you can move it around and everything um, the headrest the headrest is adjustable It goes up, down, every, everything to suit your head position. The legroom's pretty decent. I'm nearly six foot and pretty comfortable. And that is the button to recline your seat. Then uh, just obviously in the seat pocket, just the just the usual items. But yeah, so. Hopefully we push back in a second and get on our way to Melbourne. It looks like it's just started raining, although I'm sure that won't really cause any delays. This would be my view for the short one hour flight over to Melbourne this afternoon. We were soon pushing back on this rainy December afternoon before starting up and taxiing to runway 23 for our departure. Our departure out of Adelaide today was standard, offering a sharp left hand turn out over the sea. Flight time today was just over an hour. Okay, so we've just departed from Adelaide. Uh, I'm not sure if you're about to hear me, but um, on departure it was so, so bumpy. Um, they, they had a last minute runway change. So, I think there was a massive, a massive crosswind for our departure and then by the time that we, you know, like I could feel the crosswind just push us across the runway, hence it made for a, a really, really rough takeoff. but you might be able to see it from the video, but it's all good now, we're just turning back over the sea and about to turn, just heading, turning into the direction of Melbourne. Um, hopefully the crew will start a little service soon. We might just get only a snack on this short flight. But yeah, a bit of a rough takeoff beat. It's quite windy. The weather in Adelaide hasn't really been the best the last couple of days. Yesterday it was raining all day. But yeah, we're up now. And uh, we have about one hour to run into Melbourne, so uh, let's do this. Okay, it seems to be a lot nicer now that we're up here um, above the clouds. So uh, Qantas does have Wi-Fi on their 737s, so just need to connect to that now. Wi-Fi. It's, uh, it's a lot 
lot of more in cloud at the moment, but I expect it to be a lot better once we're above those clouds. But um, who knows how long those clouds will be. I noticed that the crew had their trolleys out, so I went ahead and got my tray table down. On offer for a snack this afternoon was this guacamole with crackers. I washed it down with some apple juice. Okay, so I think that we have just begun our descent into Melbourne. Um, obviously the, um, the snack service is done. Five crackers and guacamole. Obviously, I, I just had the five crackers because I don't like guacamole. I don't, I don't like avocados at all, to be honest with you. But um, you know, it's, it's not the worst. But I think it'd be. I think they'd really benefit from just going back to something more simple, like just cheese and crackers. Like every Qantas flight that I've had recently, they've just tried to overdo the catering economy class with these snacks but uh, you know I think they forget it's just meant to be a snack cheese and crackers there's nothing wrong with that but um yeah so we're stuck I think we're just at the top of the scent into Melbourne it's pretty cloudy I think this is all that weather that we had in Adelaide yesterday sort of just following us to Melbourne now so I don't really think that we're going to see much clear skies until probably the final approach. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be in Melbourne soon. And uh, I'll complete this flight on our way down. But uh, yeah, not long to run down. We were slowly descending down into Melbourne. We were slowly descending down before making an approach into Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport.
were soon on our way taxiing towards the Qantas terminal. Try and get a sky bus to the city now. There's one there. Hopefully, I can get a ticket before it leaves. Let's try and get one. Well, yes, I did make it onto that sky bus, thankfully. I'd just like to take this chance to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their continuous and ongoing support. Their generosity ensures that I'm able to keep traveling and making videos just like this one. If you'd like to join them, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching the video until this point. I'm so grateful to have you still following along. Stay tuned for Emirates next week, and I'll see you all in another video. See you all then.